Hey, what's up everyone? It's Bruno here. And you know, it's that time of year again where auditions are coming up. So I get a lot of questions like, you know, give me some tips or people asking, give me some tips on how to get cast on Big Brother Canada. So, you know, uh, I do get asked this a lot to so figure, you know what? Hey, let's make a video and let's uh, tell you a few tricks or tips, at least that worked for me um, to get me cast on the show. So here's the thing, you know, um, what I usually tell people is uh, nobody knows you more than you. You have to be able to sell yourself to these producers and you have to convince them that you're the one for the show, that you are the right fit to be on this show. And you have to be a little different. Don't just be the generic, you know, um, don't just be the generic person, you know, one time I got mad at this person or I can get really mean or, uh, you know, I'm really nice but I have a mean side. Don't give them any of that. They're going to hear a lot of that, you know, person after person that come in through those doors are going to say that exact same story. Give them something different. Give them something unique and, you know, give them a reason to open their eyes and open their ears and hear you out. Um, you know, for me, for instance, um, one of the things I think that helped me get cast was I'm a world-class gamer. I was ranked uh, number one in the world on my server for a certain classes on two separate servers. I'm a dad. I'm a younger dad. Um, just things like that. Use things that not everybody has. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a black belt in martial arts. Things like that. Another tip I would tell you, um, don't go in with a written speech. It, it just comes across phony and it just doesn't come across genuine. Um, but my advice to you, maybe jot down some notes, you know, um, that's what I did, you know, going, I had a five hour drive to the auditions. I live in Ottawa and I auditioned in Toronto. So what I did was I jotted down some notes that I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about, um, the fact that I am a world-class gamer. I wanted to talk about the fact that I am a black belt. I am a dad about my kids, things like that. But I didn't say what I was going to say. I just put down, you know, black belt gamer, whatever, whatever, whatever. And that way you just have that idea of what you want to talk about and then you just go with it and just be genuine and smooth with it. Um, another thing is, you know, going into the auditions, I said to myself, I'm going to give them a hundred reasons to say yes and I'm going to give them no reasons to say no. And that's what you have to go in. Go in with the, with the attitude that you're not going to give them a chance to say no. You're going to make them want to say yes and you're going to make them want you. You're going to want to make them believe that they need you for this show. They need you. You are fit for this show. And again, this is what worked for me. Another thing too is, um, you know, actually going in, I'll tell you something. So I only auditioned once in season three. Um, so I didn't know what the casting process was like. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. So when I went to Toronto, um, I was sitting beside a guy. I'll never forget this guy. Okay. So I was actually number nine in line. I was number nine in the Toronto line. And there's a lot of people that go to Toronto. I believe it's the biggest one or one of the biggest ones. And uh, so the guy beside me is sitting there and, and number 10 is my lucky number. And, and so I'm sitting to the guy and I look at him, I said, you know what, man, 10 is my lucky number. And he looks at me and he goes, you know what? Number nine is my lucky number. And we looked at each other and he's like, do you want to trade numbers? And I thought about it. I'm like, you know what? I'm supposed to be here at number nine. I don't know what it was. Something told me, don't trade numbers. This is your spot. You should be standing right here. So I said, sorry, buddy. You know, um, I'm supposed to be here. So I didn't trade numbers with the guy. I ended up talking to the guy though. He auditioned for season two. And, you know, going in, like I said, I didn't know what to expect. So I'm sitting there and we're just talking, getting to know each other. And he told me, he says, you know what? I auditioned last year and I didn't know what to expect. And what happens is when you get to the auditions, you're not going up one-on-one. -on -one. I didn't know any better. I actually thought I was going to go up one-on-one -on -one with these producers and talk to them. And I generally thought that. So when he told me, no, 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 you go up with four or five other people, and uh, you have to give your spiel in front of these people. And you have like 20, 30 seconds to do it. If you can't convince them in that 20, 30 seconds, you're gone. So um, when he told me that, I was kind of like, whoa, I was kind of blown away. And I started getting a little nervous. And I said, you know what? I told myself, I said, if I'm going to be nervous in front of these five people, I don't know. I have no idea who these people are. If I'm going to be nervous in front of these five people and I can't say my piece to get on this show in front of five people, how am I going to do it across, you know, in front of everybody in Canada? So I put myself in the right, right mindset. So my advice to you guys, if you don't know, or not even advice, but my tip is uh, if you don't know what you're getting yourself into when you go to audition, just remember, you're not going to be up there alone. So if that's something that would have thrown you off guard, now you're prepared for it. You know, um, you do go up with four or five people. And again, this is a show and they're going to want to see how you interact with people. If someone tries to push you around in the, in the audition, if you're up there with five people and someone starts chirping you, shut them down quick, chirp them back, be quick. Give them something right back because that's what they're looking for. They want that. 
Um, if you just kind of retreat and let this person, you know, trash talk you, your chances are going to be a little slim. No, I'm not saying go and trash talk people in your group, but if someone does come at you, be quick and get them back and make sure you win that battle because they're going to like that. It's going to be bonus points in your, in your corner. Um, what else? Again, just be unique. Uh, tell them things that they don't hear every day. Don't drag on your stories. You want to make them interested in your story right off the bat. You don't want to drag a story on and on and on and make their eyes glaze over. Be quick to the point. The first story you tell them should be a crazy one or a good one or something that's going to catch their attention. Uh, don't start off by, um, 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 I don't know. Don't do that stuff. They, these people, their time is precious. They got to go through a thousand people in Toronto or whatever it is. They don't want to waste their time. They, they just want to get in there quick um, and get it done with. So, um, you know, hopefully that stuff helps. Uh, also be presentable. Don't go there looking like a slob. Um, you know, you got to look at it as a business opportunity. Big brother is a business at the end of the day. It is a business. It's a TV show. It's a business. So go look in the part, you know, um, costumes and stuff. I personally don't recommend them. Maybe they work, maybe they have work, I don't know. I personally wouldn't do it. Don't go dressed as uh, whatever, a Viking or a banana like the guy uh, I saw at season four um, auditions. Don't do that. They, you know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna do anything. Uh, it's not gonna do anything. Um, but yeah, definitely bring personality, be loud, uh, be exciting. Don't go in all monotone. Give them excitement, give them personality, show them what you're about. Another tip I'm going to tell you, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. But um, if you're in a relationship, kind of tell them, you know, you're single. Um, they're probably not going to like me saying that. But if there is no chance of a showmance, you're probably going to slim your, uh, cut down your chances of making it on the show. Even if you're in a relationship, just tell them you're single. Uh, unless you're married like myself, I'm married with kids. It's a little different. But uh, I think they would rather have that chance of a showman's blooming rather than not have that chance. They usually like to have a couple of showmances in a season. So that could help your chances even just a little bit. Well, there you have it guys. Um, that's just a few tips that I have to maybe help you get on the show. Take it or leave it. Don't take it for gospel. This is just my personal opinion. Uh, another thing too, the people that keep asking me, you know, Oh, put in a good word for me, put in a good word for me. I have no pull. I have no pull on who gets cast. Not a single person that has played Big Brother has any pull of who gets cast. It's all up to you. You are the one that has all the pull if you get cast or not. You have to be the one to convince them to pick you. Good luck, everybody. I will be watching. And for the 16 lucky house guests or people that I get picked to play this season, we will meet soon enough. And I can't wait to talk about this all when it's all said and done. Good luck. Play hard. And one of you is going to win 100 grand pretty soon.